In World War II, the Germans were renowned for coming up with the most ridiculous weapon designs in history. They were called Wonder Weapons. This must come from outer space, no? None probably as ridiculous as the P-1000 rat. This is a land cruiser, a land battleship, and today we need to destroy it. Not using Kugel wagons and ramming it. In order to do that, we're gonna try three different aircraft. First, we're gonna try the B-17, the Flying Fortress. You can tell it's a fortress by how many machine guns it has on all sides of it to help you defend against incoming fighters. And there will be incoming Germans. And if the B-17 is the flying fortress, this is the super fortress, the B-29. Just look at this thing. It's sleeker, bigger, and even more and better machine guns. Now, say you were to take the B-17, fly to the future, and clone it next to each other. Well, then you'd have the third plane we're gonna try. This absolute monstrosity with cannons that are literally on it. The machine guns in the front look like you could wipe out a whole battalion of infantry. This thing is truly a flying fortress. And we're gonna be using it. First off, look at how great these skins of these infantry units look. We've got the 101st Airborne and Oh my gosh, sir, what is on your gun? You really are special forces. Now all we gotta do is get in this before it completely fills up and or runs me over. <laughs> like that guy. Oh, sorry Blondie. We have seven people in this thing. You can see them in the windows, that the, being the door gunners. You can see in the bottom turret, the back turret, and what I believe is called the dorsal turret. And we even have like a rear dorsal facing machine gun. We've got 22 bombs, so let's just get an idea. We can carpet bomb. Now my ally is doing what's pretty smart, getting altitude and attacking the enemy tank from above. But if you look off my left side window, you can see the rat. Now remember, this is just the first plane that we're going to try. It's an absolute beast in its own right, the B-17, but the rat has incredible armor and armament. So we're gonna carpet bomb it and hope for the best. Remember that hope is the strategy. Oh, I killed some gunners on the back. It doesn't look like we've done any long-term damage and the enemy any aircraft has opened up on us and already that thing took out 80% of our health immediately. I don't know if we're gonna have- Bruh. Those guns are so good and accurate and powerful that we only have one attempt and we're going down with all hands. Look at the- any aircraft guns. Wait a minute. All the infantry are just hanging back here. I'm not entirely sure why, but that does allow me to gather a squad. Why aren't they taking the tanks? What is going on with the AI? All aboard. This is a one-way trip. Oh my god, sir, what happened to your arms? All right, the enemy B- or uh, enemy. The friendly B-17 is taking off. It looks like we actually have one up in the air right now, too. Oh, look at- Look at the friendly B-17 just carpet bombing. Someone in my bomber sounds like they're firing a pistol, and I have no idea why. The weak spot is right behind that massive turret. There's sort of like, well, ventilation shafts for the giant multiple engines. All right, right there. You can see the bombs going out. That. Somehow we are doing this on the ground, and I, can't get up. We need a hill. <laughs> this looks like it might be a hill, but we're so low the enemy anti-aircraft can't hit us. <laughs> I've made a jet ski on the land using a B-17. That is a sentence that just doesn't make sense. Now I see why they're firing the pistol. They're trying to kill me. <laughs> the rat is now crossing the river. He's almost halfway here. If he gets to this flag point and takes it, we lose and we have no chance of victory. One last attempt in the old glory here, the flying fortress. I'm gonna try, well, it's a maneuver that doesn't give me a lot of chance of survival, but it does marginally increase our chance at success. I'm going to dive bomb in a four-engined B-17. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Did that do anything? You're kidding me. It didn't do anything. We did knock out that truck though. 
Time for the B29. I'm a little bit nervous as I deploy because I'm not sure if both of these are gonna be able to take off at the same time. No, they're actually spaced out decently well on this runway. Okay, look at how much just bigger and more beautiful they are in silver. All right, guys, don't leave without me. Remember, I'm your commanding officer. I'm hoping that the bombs are bigger on this. I have a, okay, I'm in free camera mode. Let's get those wheels up. There it is, look at that beauty. All right, now getting an idea for our bombs. They look pretty similar in ordnance size. Oh, look at us strafing with these bottom turrets. All right, there it is over to our right. You can see all of the Panzers taking to the field. And as long as those anti-aircraft guns don't open up on us now, Oh, we barely survived that bombing run, but I'm not sure if we did much damage and the enemy anti-aircraft turrets are all over us. We're barely alive. You can see the smoke pouring out of all four of our engines as I almost crash us into the river. Let's try this again. All right, come on. Oh, we got so many direct hits on the engine block there. We dropped all 30 bombs. We're, gonna about, we're about to be toast, aren't we? I'm literally on like 1% health for this thing. This thing is being held up by bubble gum and duct tape and well, now the bubble gum's on fire and it's in our mouth, ouch. It's rather apparent that World War II problems require modern solutions. We've got the green and the tan version and they are looking amazing. Like, look at this, where, where do I even get in? I guess here? All right, I'm the pilot now. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've got, s wait a minute. There are 16 people in this plane. The B-17 had seven. I forgot how many the B-29 had, but this has 16, more than double what the B-17 has. Look at how many people there are in every single turret. Unfortunately, these turrets are gonna be great at shooting down planes, but probably not good at killing a mouse. Oh my, this is a flying fortress. This is a flying Gibraltar. Now, the key here, oh my God, what is this? That's Bombay. Okay. Oh, look at these Bombays. Now, how big is the explosion? Oh, okay. That is a massive bomb. The blast radius looked at least 10 to 20 times bigger than the 100 pounders I think we were dropping. I'm assuming they're 100 pounders because they looked small. Uh oh. We, we, uh, yeah, yeah. I realized first, I need to better understand this aircraft. I no B-17s, I sort of know B-29s. I have no idea about this beast. So we're in the bottom turret. Oh yeah, that's impressive. That's better than M2 Browning 50 cals. So this is like a sideways facing nose turret? Oh, <laughs> I, we have two dorsal turrets. I'm on the nose now, one of the nose gunners. Ooh, what are these, auto cannons? Oh, we got flak? Lovely. Now running through all those weapon systems, I didn't figure out how to use these. And I think that's gonna be very important. Okay, somebody, it was me, put a plane at the end of the runway. This is gonna be a little bit close. <laughs> okay, uh, I have the guns right here. Oh! Oh my, and they rotate? Are you kidding me? This is probably the coolest plane I think I've ever flown in all of Ravenfield. Okay, those bombs are massive. This should work. Now let's add some bots, a lot of them. And the Germans don't have a plane. So we need to go to the workshop and find a BF-109. This one looks decent. We've tried the B-17. We've tried the B-29. Now it's time to try what I'm gonna call just the B-17X2, because it's like two of them combined. Now we added some enemy aircraft for the Germans, so we'd have something to shoot down with all of these turrets. I mean, why have a flying fortress if you can't shoot down some planes with it? And we're up, and as long as we don't run into any friends up here, I think we're gonna be fine. I can't wait to see what happens when enemy fighters get close to us. Okay, there it is. There's a flying fortress. Oh, they sound amazing. All right, let's see if we can't get, where's my, I need a target or something. We're firing our cannons at the front of the rat. Oh, this thing can fire incredibly fast. <laughs> oh, that thing is tearing us up. What? This thing can die? 
Oh yeah, that was bad. Maybe I shouldn't have added planes. We're gonna take one of those off. One of the things I didn't do on the last attack run was use my bombs. That's dumb. Let's try bombing the rat. What? Oh! <laughs> the enemy fighter plane ran into it and just shattered it. Look at all the people falling. Wait a minute, I just realized I think our engines are turboprop engines. Like a mix of propeller and jet. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What is that plane armed with? The worst thing I did today was give the Germans a plane. We're taking it away. Maybe that one's a little overpowered. Let's try this again. The B-17 failed, the B-29 failed, the B-17X2 failed against enemy planes. Right to the left of that 45, yep. I don't want to drop some- oh, he's dropping bombs. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Those are fantastic bombs. Oh, enemy any aircraft's opening up. Luckily, my friend is, like, screening me. Alright, I just dropped an insane amount of bombs and we missed badly. That was interesting. We're reloading, though, and coming at it from the side. But our bombs aren't reloaded? How long do they take to reload? Oh, we're like AC-130 gun shipping these things. We attacked the turret. Is anybody in that thing? Could we have killed the crew? All right, we got the bombs left. Turning this thing is like driving a bus using a banana. We're gonna destroy it here. We have to. Yes! We destroyed the P-1000 rat. We just had to use a futuristic bomber plane. The turret flew off. Oh, this thing is one of the most miraculous in crazy aircraft I've ever flown in this game. It's fantastic. And here it is, the CBB-1301717. Okay, Lord Aloha, you wild man. So thanks for watching another episode of Ravenfield. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.